Matey. Welcome back to Underwater Math. Today, we will look at interpreting data from borrower graphs. I put together this borrower graph of me mates, and I. It tells how many treasures we plunder. Just look at the borrower above each of our names. Then follow the line across and read the number on the left. If the borrower goes up to a line without a number, you will have to interpolate to figure out what the number should be. Look at the borrower for salty sand. It goes to the line that is halfway between the 12 and the 16. What number is halfway between 12 and 16? It's 14. So, Salty Sam plundered 14 treasures. Look at the borrower for Pete Puffy Pants. It goes to the line halfway between the 4 and the 8. What number is halfway between 4 and 8? It's 6. So, Pete Puffy Pants plundered 6 treasures. The borrower for Finn Black Eye goes up to the four line. So we know that Finn Black Eye plundered four treasures. Now look at my borrower. I am capping fish hook. It goes up to the 12 line. I plundered 12 treasures. You might be wondering how much treasure we plundered in all. You can find this by adding up the amount of each borrower. 14 plus six plus four plus 12 equals 36. How much more treasure did I plunder than Pete Puffy Pants? We'll subtract the amount on Pete's borrower from the amount on my borrower. 12 minus 6 equals 6. How many more treasures did I plunder than Finn Black High and Pete Puffy Pants combined? First, find out how much Finn and Pete plundered combined. 4 plus 6 equals 10. Then subtract that amount from the amount of treasure I plundered. 12 minus 10 equals 2. Which of us plundered the most treasure? Look at the highest borrower. It was Salty Sam. That's about it on interpreting borrower graphs. Batten down the hatches, matey, and prepare to set sail.